Hi there, this is George Kosh and we're going to talk to you about the autoresponder system. Um, you can find access to it here on the top menu. You just click on autoresponder and that'll get you into this area here. Um, and the first thing I want to talk to you about is you know, what an autoresponder is. Um, essentially, people are able to sign up through some type of form um, that we're going to talk to you about. Um, and they put their name and email in and then they are sent um, a message from your system uh, to their email box. And you, as the owner of the autoresponder, you can send as many messages uh, over as many days as you would like. And what will happen is, as you'll see in this video, people can receive those messages, um, they can unsubscribe, everything is fully automated. You don't need to do anything except set the autoresponder up. So what you're going to see also is the optional, and this is optional email commander, is um, can handle the emailing. Um, and uh, email commander, I'm going to leave it to you to go here if you want. You can set it up. Um, or if you don't, World Profits Mail Servers will take care of your autoresponder system completely. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is use this button here to say, let's add a new sequence. The whole idea of an autoresponder is to have something that you're going to send out to people. Uh, it could be a five-day course, 10-day course. It could be uh, something about a, an ebook that you're trying to sell. Um, I leave that up to you. Um, what I'm going to do in the title is I'm going to say, uh, this is my five-day course. Okay. Um, and I'm just making this up. Day, um, there, are, there are, in the description, there are, um, five days of, of stuff. So whatever you decide to do, of course, you're going to think, think through it a little bit better than this, but this gives you the idea. You want to keep the short um, description, you know, it can be a little longer and uh, you're set to go there. Now the reply email I keep as my own. That way when a message goes out and they want to reply, um, they'll get directly to your email box. This is an interesting one here because once they've signed up for the um, autoresponder, they will be able to have um, the ability to uh, possibly be redirected to a page that you've created, maybe on your website that says, thank you for joining. Uh, here's a link to something or, or, or just a thank you. If you leave it blank, that's fine. Uh, we have a default page that simply says, thank you for subscribing. Check your email. Okay. So, uh, you can leave this set to yes, because nobody can join this until we've created the forms to, to sign up to it. So it's okay to leave that as yes. When we say uh, add the autoresponder, you'll see it shows up here under the other one that I created. This is my five-day course. And I left this one here so that you can see that you could have multiple autoresponder systems set up. As you can see now, we have no messages. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into here, and we are going to... Uh, finalize some, some extra settings, and then we're going to add some messages. You are able to be notified to your email, um, which is, of course, your email on file um, as, as a member um, every time somebody signs up. So if you say yes, that's great. You can then you know, possibly send them uh, uh, you know, a, a, an email uh, saying thanks or whatever, but mind you, the system will also send that too. A prospect manager, you can leave this as yes, that way they will go into your prospect manager um, and you'll have access to emailing and things like that. Uh, turn on reCAPTCHA, I highly recommend you do this um, because this will confirm that they're human and that you're not getting signed up um, by, uh, you know, auto bots and things like that. So I'm going to update that right now. And I'm going to, of course, before we do setting up any forms, we need something to send people. So what we've really done is we've kind of set this thing up and said, this is the name of it, and this is the description, and these are some of the settings. Now we have to actually add messages, and I'm going to start by creating the first one. And this would be a welcome letter, of course, welcome to my five-day course. On... on um, on, uh, you know, uh, something on, on uh, um, gardening, for lack of a better term. And then this would be, uh, here's, here is the information. Now, um, for uh, joining. 
Now, in this case, what you can do is you can send them a bonus. Um, you might have uh, sent an email out saying, if you sign up for my course, I'll send you a bonus. This is where you would want to put it in the first message. And of course, immediate. Uh, this is important because you can set these to a whole bunch of different options here, but uh, immediate is means they're going to get it right away. And you can do some changes here. You can set their first name if you want. Um, you know, John, here's your letter. So if you were to put this in with both brackets, um, that would be, um, you could do that and you could just put it, you know, first name, first name. Here is the information for joining. Okay, so then we say create it. And of course it's now uh, <clears throat> ready to go. You've got your first message. Now you can edit that at any time you want. And of course you can add another message. And this could be day two, uh, whatever you want to call it. Day two. And I'll just say message here. And of course you could set this to the day. Now you could set this to two days later or three or four, it's totally up to you what you do. Um, put it in sequence and there we go. So now you can see, we see the day is, this is immediately and then day one. And this can continue for as long as you want. I probably, you know, I'm sort of a 30 day sort of thing at most, um, but there's a lot of work of course to, to do. And as people join, you will see them show up here and it will um, move them down as they receive the second day and third day. And you'll see how many people are on the list for these days. Now, this is all finished. We have three choices to create forms because people have to sign up for your list. And uh, the only way to do that is to create forms. Now, the easiest solution is using your landing page builder. And the reason I say that is because uh, you can pick um, one of the designs already in there and I'm going to show you how to do that and then we're going to look at these two. So I'm going to go over to the landing page builder and I'm going to select a basic one here, just landing page design. And you can see uh, I have a few in here. Um, what's going to happen is when you go into the um, drop down menu, what you'll normally see is something that looks like, looks like this. Um, you can see there's uh, sign up associates. You will see on the landing pages uh, this one build external list okay, from other lists. So when you when you save that, um, this will go and it will detect that you have these courses. So what you want to do is, of course, you can only pick one. You, if you pick two, it won't work. You have to just pick the one, and this will create the code here for you. And if you say update, you'll notice. Um, just going to click that to get back in, that it's already added the code, uh, meaning that the this landing page is already set so that when people go to it, um, they're going to sign up for your um, course. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sign up for it right now, and it says enter your name here. So I'm going to say um, George uh, Osh, and email address is george at autisticinfo.com. Uh, and I'll say, okay, let's sign up. And you can see, I've turned on the CAPTCHA, so this is gonna confirm that they're actually real. Um, and they will, they might be prompted to solve a CAPTCHA or, or not. So, complete my sign up. So as you're added, so what the next stage will be is they'll have to check their email and receive um, uh, an email saying they're signed up. So that's pretty straightforward. You can now use that landing page uh, to generate opt-ins for your list. What I like about it is you can make changes to things up here. In other words, the headline could be the five-day course, second line, third line. So you can completely set this up um, so that it works for people to sign up for your autoresponder. And what you'll see is, is as they come in, if I hit the refresh now on this page, um, there we go, just going to up update that. You can see now that you have a person on this list that is receiving the information on that letter. Okay? And this person will go down and so, so far, uh, uh, so forth. Okay. Um, and there you go. Now we're all set. The uh, system, you can go in here and you can see how many subscribers you have. Um, 
one subscriber, I actually created another message um, uh, in there so that they can they would receive an extra message now on the third day. Um, that is it. Now, what we can do is if we click view and edit, we can also have access to the subscribers, which you can see here. Um, I signed up as you saw, it shows me the date. If you click this, you can unsubscribe them. Um, you can delete them. And uh, of course, if you get people who want to be removed uh, and they didn't click on the link, they can't find it, uh, which goes out in every message, um, you could just handle it in here automatically. Um, that way you won't have any complaints or anything like that. And there you go, that's uh, the easiest way. Now, if you're pretty good with um, opt-in codes and you're, you're okay with things like widgets that you can put on um, uh, different code on things like WordPress blogs, uh, you can put them on your website if you want. Um, what you'll see is you can you can take a look at them here. It'll, it'll give you an idea of what it looks like. And this, this will then have code generated here, which we can click on this button and it will create the form code that you can then take this code and put it anywhere that you want for that little sign up box to appear. And you can see there's a whole bunch to choose from. So uh, you can you know, create as many as you want. You can put them anywhere you want. Uh, there's some you know, very nice designs here, as you can tell. Some of them are very uh, simple, very basic. And of course, the final way to set up uh, code is the basic form code. And this one can be uh, used anywhere you want. It's the same thing. It's a very basic form. Um, and you can modify the code too. You, you don't have to use it like this. You can add colors and things if you put this into a, an editor. Uh, you can automatically add it to your website, um, picking wherever you want it to go. And then when people go to your website, they would see this uh, come up and they could sign up for your, for your autoresponder. Okay. The big thing here is I would recommend testing it. Uh, with your own email. That way when you receive the email, you can make sure it works and it's exactly what you want it to be. And uh, that's it. You are all set. Now, the final part of this is to show you how to use the opt-in code if you want, and this is totally optional. Uh, this create opt-in code here works with our program. Um, and I will have a link uh, that you can, you can take a look at, which will be uh, in this area here with our uh, program called Lead Magnet. And Lead Magnet is in the Auto Response Center area and we'll have a link to it, of course, right over here. The Lead Magnet system uh, works perfectly well with this code. Um, and if you decide to purchase it, you'll be able to log in. And I'm going to just take this login link here I'm going to copy it and I'm going to log in now to my area here. I'm going to bring this in for you, give you an idea of what it looks like. And again, this is totally optional. There we are. And let's just bring this over. There we are. So you would sign into your lead magnet area and this will allow you to enter code onto um, any campaign that you create. And there will be a separate um, help video for uh, World Profit Lead Magnet, of course. Uh, when you do create your, um, your campaign, the area that you could do um, with the system, of course, is you can put the opt-in code in using the HTML editor here. Okay, so what you would do is you can come back um, into the program, the autoresponder, and when you do the opt-ins, which is really neat, you can go in here and you can grab one of these, for example, and it will give you the code and you can just copy that to your clipboard. And using the lead magnet, you can have that code um, turn into a beautiful landing page that slides down on top of any page that you want. So uh, 
just going to go to the bottom here and save. Just like that. Just move my thing over here. And the edit. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like, I've just put it on a random ClickBank product here that I found. So you, you put your website in, whatever website you want on the internet um, that you're trying to sell, but you can also have your drop-down box for your autoresponder show up. Uh, so that's a really nifty way to uh, build a list, that's for sure. Because it, again, this uses more profits autoresponder that you have. And people will also see the information on the page. Uh, so that's a very powerful way of doing it. Okay, so these, again, that's an optional way to do it. And of course, there will be a separate video, of course, on how to use the um, lead magnet. Okay, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to fill out a support form, and we'll take care of um, any questions that you have about World Profits Autoresponder System. Thank you.